France's new Prime Minister Jean Castex has unveiled his new cabinet. Key changes have been made with a new Interior Minister and Environment Minister. Castex has the challenge of taking the reins at a time when the economy has been hit hard during the COVID-19 pandemic. He's already said he'll focus on keeping French manufacturing jobs safe. Well, joining me now for more on this is our reporter, Cyril Funeris. Cyril, who's in, who's out and what's the surprising announcement? Hi, Oliver. Well, a list of around 20 names was given behind me at the Elysee Palace a few moments ago. It respects a uh, balance between men and women and a form of balance between left and right, this delicate balance, which is the core of uh, Emmanuel Macron's policy. Uh, in the main changes, while well, the interior minister, Christophe Castanet, has been sacked, he was uh, widely criticized uh, since the Gilets jaunes crisis for being too tough on protesters and not supporting enough the policemen. So he was replaced by Gérald Darmanin, who is a close friend to Emmanuel Macron. On the other hand, the base of the government stays. Bruno Le Maire will be one of the strong men. He stays as the uh, economy ministry, uh, the minister of education as well. Jean-Michel Blanquer is staying, the minister of health, uh, Olivier Véran, uh, as well as uh, Le Drian at the foreign affairs. So few surprises as well. Roselyne Bachelot, who was a TV host during the previous years, was named as a culture minister. And the very famous lawyer, uh, Dupont Moretti, was named as a, the justice minister. A few surprises to, uh, well, stick to this spirit of renewal uh, promised by Emmanuel Macron, although th this list is not so surprising, as I said, the base of the government stays the same, stays as it was. Cyril, President Macron has already signalled that he wants a fresh beginning. So what can we expect from the new prime minister and his top team? Well, what we can expect first is that this cabinet will be uh, fully behind Emmanuel Macron and that Emmanuel Macron will be the one actually leading the national policy. Why? First of all, because of the profile of Jean Castex, who was totally unknown before his nomination. He was the mayor of a uh, small town in southern France. He's a senior bureaucrat. Uh, and his nomination was widely seen as a way uh, for Emmanuel Macron well, to keep his hands on the national party. Another thing we can say is that Jean Castex is from the right wing. He was a councillor of Nicolas Sarkozy at the time. He presents himself as neither left, neither right, just like Emmanuel Macron. But in the end, there's a form of continuity after uh, Edouard Philippe, and that is widely criticized by the Green Party uh, and other left parties. And the Green Party did very good at the local, last local elections. The last thing we can say is quite obvious, is one of his priorities and the cabinet's priorities will be to lead with the uh, economic crisis, which is the worst crisis in France since World War II. And France has invested around 20 percent of the GDP GDP inside to support the economy. So a lot to do for this new cabinet. And we'll know more about the concrete uh, measures that will be taken by the prime minister and its cabinet on July 15th, when Jean Castex will present his speech on general policy in front of the parliament on July 15th. Silver Fernandez joining us there from Paris.